Hello everyone. I've got the October Your Creative Studio subscription box to share with you today. Um, I know we're um, well into November, but because these come from the US, it does take quite a while for them to reach me here in the UK. So of course I'm always late um, with these. Um, but you will never be able to get hold of the current subscription box because they're so popular. They sell out really quickly. Um, but this will give you an indication as to the types of things that are included within the um, boxes. Now we've got the usual business card here and this month it lists the items that are included um, in the kit which I think is a really nice touch. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Um, a stamp by the looks of things. I love these little um, wooden stamps. Um, this one here is a flower. Isn't that cute? That's just lovely and it looks as if we've got um, two um, of these. So let's have a look and um, see see what this one is um nice and um and festive a candle i really like those those are really really cute we've got one of the little mini books i really like these um as well um what have we got here toadstool um themes these have got numbers on um as well so it looks as if um they'd be perfect for um a calendar or you know um daily journal i really like these the images are just absolutely gorgeous these are just a really nice size for using in collage as well so we've got that um we've got this one here let me just have a look i've got my pokey tool here let's see if we can um, get get into this let's just take the cellophane off and what have we got um in here oh it's um some embossed papers similar to the ones that we had um last month but with a, a, to a toadstool design um little quotes on them as well so only when good is the best respect these are really really sweet and um these are embossed on the back are these double-sided um as well no, they're not. It's just that some of them um, around the other the other way. I like those. I think those um, are really fun as well. That packaging is is just so gorgeous. It's just really glittery too. What have we got in here? Washi tape by the by the looks of it. Let me just see if I can get into this without tearing the packaging. The packaging um, on these items is always so lovely that um, it's just really nice to to save. Oh, that um, is really nice. Let's have a look. Which way round does it go? This way round, I think. Let me just unravel it so that um, so that you can you can see. Here we go. That's gorgeous. I like that a lot. Then we've got this package here. Um, isn't that packaging just absolutely wonderful as well? What's in here? Oh, some vellum sheets. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous designs. So we must have um, about 10, 12 different um, designs of these. Um, again, just absolutely lovely for collage. That's um, more of a label design. Um, these are just lovely. I really like those. And the packaging, as I said, is um, just absolutely delightful. We have some little tags. How do you get into these? Where's the opening? I've got to um, get in from the, the top. Oh, I didn't really want to um, tear that. I should have done it from the um, back, but never mind. There we go. And so we've got some toadstool tags. These are really sweet. So we've got two designs of um, of these. Oh, three, three designs. Yep, three designs. So we've got that one there and um, that one with the green um, border and this one here. I really like um, those. We have a little notebook, Monet themed by the um, looks of things. So let's have a look at, um, at this. Oh, that's just plain um, papers, but um, oh my goodness, that's just gorgeous. Again, this is perforated, but um, absolutely beautiful um, for backgrounds. I really like that. So that's just um, a little notebook. We have some of the onion skin paper by the looks of things in a larger size. We received um, some of this in a previous pack, but it was tiny. Um, it's absolutely beautiful to stamp on. So it's nice to have this in a larger A6 size. Really like, like that. 
um let's do this one next we have um a gorgeous stamp set with toadstools on that's lovely these stamps are just absolutely wonderful to use um as well and i just like the fact that they come in one of these cd cases as well for storage which is just lovely we have um a stamp set um that's beautiful really nice this is one of the um your creative studio own designs i like that um a lot and we've got this gorgeous date stamp as well let's have um, a look at this this looks gorgeous um, and it comes with its own stand um, as well let's have a look so here we go we've got one of these um gorgeous date stamps i've wanted one of these for um a long long time that's lovely and i just love the fact that it comes um in its own little stand as well so that you can just keep it um on your desk how cute is that and then finally we've got some scrapbooking papers let's have a look um are these stickers yes these are stickers quite often um they're stickers and that's really nice and um, that one's upside down so we've got toadstool oh that one's upside down as, as well um these are gorgeous i like these um a lot so here we go a box full of the most wonderful wonderful treasures these are just always such a joy to open and to use okie dokie i think i've decided what um i want to do i just absolutely love these papers here they're just absolutely gorgeous um and these three especially i think go um really nicely together and so what i'm going to do is make myself um, some kind of a folder um, which I can stuff loads of um, handmade goodies in. Um, I've got a piece of craft cardstock here. This is 280 GSM and what I'm going to do is just grab um, my scoreboard um, so I've got that here and um, mine measures 29 and a half centimeters I am going to score this at 14 and a half so I'm just going to score down here a couple of times like this you can score on your paper trimmer I know that most of you have got um, a scoring application on your trimmers and then of course I'm left with this um, overhang here so I'm just going to trim that down um, and I think that is at at, um five and a half inches um let me do, mine is in centimeters and inches and i think if i turn it over it is i'm going to um trim it down at five and a half inches i just find this really helpful because i've got inches um and centimeters on um, either side of the board and sometimes it's just easier to work in um one measurement than the other so that's now trimmed down to five and a half inches and what I want to do next is create myself um, a pocket so I'm just going to make um, a score line here at um, six inches so again we'll just um, make um, a couple of score lines here and fold that over as well so there we go and we can use the um, phone folder just to make sure that we've got um, a really nice um, crease. Then what I want to do is just grab my scissors and starting on this side here, I'm just going to trim myself a V all up to that centre point um, here because um, if I try to fold this like this, it's just um, a little bit bulky. So we need to um, just cut um, a little bit of that um, excess away so i'm just going to trim the like like that and then i'm going to eyeball um the width of that that v from the center point and try and mimic it um on the other the other side so that's there about that and so we'll go all the way up here like this um, and then I can grab my mini scissors here and just trim that um, excess bit away um, and that just neatens that up and just makes it so much easier to fold so that's what we've got so far now I've got this folder I'm really happy with that so far and the measurements are almost perfect for the size of the papers that are included in the kit I do want um, a very slight border um, I've got a tiny weeny bit a millimeter or so I want um, a bit more and so what I'm going to do is um, I want about that much of a border. So what I'm going to do is make myself some pencil marks so that I know where to, to trim. So I want some pencil marks about here. So I'm going to trim trim that there and I'm going to take a smidge off either the top um, or the bottom as well. 
So I've trimmed my paper and I don't know whether you can see, um, I've got myself um, a slight border all the way around. I'm really happy um, with that. And before I glue this paper down, I just want to use some of my frayed burlap distress ink just to go around the edges, just to distress that slightly before I stick the paper the paper down. Of course, this is on a sticky backing, so I need to do it now before I peel it I peel it off. I'm really happy with how that looks, but I do want to go around um, the very, very outside just with some of my Memento ink in Espresso Truffle as well, just to darken the very outside edge. Can you see? You know how much I love these double borders and that just frames it um, much, much better. So here we are. I framed um, the outside of the piece that will make it stand out. Um, I'm just going to move those out of the way. And what I want to do is just... Um, peel up one of the um, corners here with my pokey tool. In fact, I might be better off doing it with my, with my fingers. Here we go, it's coming. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure that I've got my paper lined up here like this. And then I can, and just be really, really careful about this, take your time when you're doing it. I'm just going to stick that down to the right hand um, edge like this. There we go. And then I can peel the rest, the rest off. And that's um, framed that really, really nicely. Now I do want to add some layering. I want to use this um, as a focal image. So I'm just going to trim um, just to reveal that centre there like that. Um, and I'm just going to play around with this on my paper trimmer until I get it um, how I want it to look. Trimmed my focal image down. I've got these um, strips left over. I'm going to keep those um, because those are nice to use on something else. Um, but you can see that that just gets um, a little bit lost um, if I applied that straight on top. So what I'm going to do is I've got um, another piece of craft. This is paper this time as opposed to the cardstock that I used in this one here. So I'm going to do exactly the same and ink um, around the edges in frayed burlap and um, some of the um, Memento Espresso Truffle and then I shall stick it down to a piece of this craft paper here just to frame it. So you can see that that's just added a really nice frame now and makes the focal image stand out on that background much much better. So again I'm just going to ink around the edges in the two colours of ink. I've inked around the edges and that's framed that really nicely so I'm just going to go off now and I'm going to use a glue stick and some three in one on the back. You can see I've got glue stick um, all around the edges and making sure that I've got plenty all around the edges and I'm just going to apply a little bit of three in one here like this which will just make sure that it stays stuck down and isn't going anywhere and now I can just really carefully taking my time just to um, align this glue this onto my background about there I think like like that looks lovely I'm really happy with that so now that I'm um, happy that um, I've secured it centrally I'm just burnishing it down with um, a bone folder now I want to do the same with the back and I'm just going to apply the one piece of paper here um, again I'm just eyeballing this I need to take um, a smidge um, off the top here and um, trim it down on the right hand side so again I'm just going to make a mark and take this off to my paper trimmer I've now got the back and the front decorated. I love how that looks. They just coordinate so beautifully. So now what I want to do is just um, apply a little bit um, of detail just to the top of the folder here. And I'm going to use some of the washi tape um, to do that. Let me just make sure that I get it the right way up. So I'm just going to tear a small um, amount off. Um, what I'm going to do is let me, how, how can I do this let me just um, have a think about this right okay so I just need to make sure that I'm going to get this um, the right way up I do need to um, add some glue to this because there is just no way um, that it's going to stick um, by itself right okay so um, I need to add some glue stick um, all along here like this should have got the lid off first and now my glue stick is nearly empty so am I even going to have um, enough 
just about, I think. So just applying a small amount of uh, glue stick all the way along the bottom of the washi tape like, like this. And then how did I want to um, do, do that? Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is just stick that down like that and I um, just want to make sure that I've got it um, straight um, and an even amount. You see, this is going to be fiddly. An even amount, top and bottom. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm making a real dog's dinner of this, aren't I? There we go. About there, like that. There we go. I think we've got it. And now that I think I've got that straight, I can just fold that um, straight over the top like this and then just trim along the edges. And that will just finish off my edges really nicely. It's not perfect, but um, it's there or thereabouts. There we are. That is not too bad um, at all. Quite neat. And so now I'm ready to just stick um, my edges down. And I'm going to use some of my red score tape to do that. So I'm just going to apply some of the three millimetre score tape right um, along the edge like this on both sides. Um, not in the centre here, just on the two outside um, edges, like so. And this is nice and strong and will hold this down really well. Flip that over just to trim that edge like that. Um, and then just to make it easier to get the backing off, I'm just going to burnish that down really, really well. Um, otherwise, it's just near on impossible to get the backing off. Use a pokey tool just to um, remove it. Here we go. Get rid of both sides and then I can fold those up and pop them um, in place. There we go. And now we've got um, a couple of tuck spots here like that. It's coming together really nicely, um, I think. I just want to add a little bit more detail um, to the outside. I've got um, these gorgeous stickers here. I think I'm going to um, use those. These are perforated um, already, so I'm going to stick this one here like, like this. So that one can go there like like that and of course um, because it's um, vellum as well the edges just blend away into the background that looks gorgeous and I'm going to use this one here on the on the other side aren't these stickers just beautiful I love these so we'll have that one there like that and again just use my bone folder just to make sure that those are well and truly burnished down and aren't going to um, come unstuck and that's just added a really nice element to the outside of the pockets so now we do just need to um, add some goodies inside this paper here is just crying out to be made into a couple of tags we've got this um, line here down the center um, which is central i think that's at um, three inches yes it is so i'm just going to cut that um, in half Cut these down and I think that one makes the perfect tag. This one I want to cut down um, a little bit further just so that um, it's smaller. So I'm just going to take this off to my paper trimmer again. Um, and when I've decided on the measurements, I'll let you know what they are. Cut my papers down um, into tag shapes. This one here um, is um, almost finished. You can see here I've um, snipped the edges. Um, this one here, I just need to do the same. I've inked around the edges of this one um, as well. Um, this one here now measures um, four and a quarter by two and a half inches. And this one I've just snipped the bottom off so that it measures um, five and a half by three inches. And all I've done with the edge um, is just taken the corner off like this, then grab the corner, take it over to the other side, um, just so that they're both exactly um, the same. You all know by now what a neat freak um, I am. I can't bear it when they're not um, not even. So 
Now I can use that as a template to cut um, the other the, the other side. And I'm just going to use frayed burlap and um, memento ink and express tr uh, espresso truffle just to ink around the edges. And then we can decide what we're going to do with the top. I think I'm going to mount this onto a heavier piece of cardstock um, as well, just because they're a bit flimsy um, at the moment as they as they are decided I'm going to um, stick these down to another piece of the craft cardstock you saw here I'm keeping the um, leftover pieces as well because I think those will be really handy so again I can just peel um, the backing off because um, this is self adhesive as well here we go here it comes and we can just stick that down like that and do the same with this one here as well and then I can cut um, around the edges and that will just give me a much firmer and sturdier tag. I think those tags look absolutely gorgeous but you know that um, I always like to have a bit of a tab at the top um, of my tags. I'm just going to trim um, some of this just so that I've got um, a straight edge and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as my, my tab top so I just need to measure how much um, I need. I only want um, a small amount here like this. There we go. I can do that. Um, and of course, I'm going to need to add some glue as well, because, um, you know, we all know that um, it won't stick on its own. So let me just grab a glue stick. Yeah, we've got um, a fresh one um, here with some glue in it. So I'm just going to apply a small amount of glue um, over the back of the washi tape like this and stick that um, down. It doesn't really matter which side goes where. So that will form my tab top. I just need to make sure that it's centralised. Here we go. Just eyeball, eyeball that. and stick stick that down like so there we go that's um that's nice um and then i can punch a hole um through the center i'm going to do the top of this one first um before i do that so again let me just um eyeball eyeball this so cut myself a small piece of um, washi tape off this one here as well and then again, I'm just going to use some of the glue to stick that down firmly. I was going to punch an eyelet through these, but I've decided not to. I like the way that these look um, as they are, just really cute. So I just want um, to make something to add to the other side. Um, now again, I've got this um, piece of sticker paper here left over. I am going to trim down the centre of this one as well. So oh, here we go. I've um, trimmed um, half of the sheet of paper and you can see that um, I've trimmed a piece of craft um, cardstock as well um, with a slight border um, around it. And I'm going to make myself um, a little notebook. I think on the edges, you can see what that looks like here. So I'm really happy with that. And I want to turn this into a little um, notebook. I've taken six um, sheets out of the Monet pad here. So I've just got six of them all glued together together at the top and what I'm going to do now is just remove the backing and place this on the front of this craft um, cardstock. Paper is glued down to my cardstock as you can see here I've got my stack of um, six sheets of paper all I'm going to do is just centralize these on the back like that and then I am going to fold this piece of paper here straight over the top to hold them down in place and I have added um, some glue stick to that um, as well so just use my bone folder just to make sure that that's firmly um, stuck down um, in place um, of course I'm going to need to trim some of this paper off at the bottom but um, you know that's okay all nice and neat and then I need to glue this down um, as well. I've trimmed my paper down, as you can see. But before I put the back on, I just want to add um, some detail on the back. Of course, we've got little mini mushrooms on the paper design on the front. Which one do I want to um, have? I think it's got to be this one here um, at the bottom, this um, 
this small one, I think. Yep, let's go for that one. And I am going to stamp that with some of my Memento ink. So here we go. We'll just um, ink ink that up. I do want um, a piece of scratch paper to stamp it off first. So here we go. We'll ink ink that up like that. How does that um, come out? Oh, what a gorgeous stamp. I like that um, a lot. Now, what I do want to do is make sure that I've got it um, straight. Let's try let's try that um, again because, of course, I can't um, I can't see. I'm going to fiddle around with that and then stamp it um, onto the the bottom. I think it is on straight. I think it's just me not getting. Yeah, you see, I really like that. So stamp away and then I want that. Let's twist it round um, slightly. Right, go for it. Doesn't that look cute? Just the right amount of um, detail. And then what I'm going to do, um, I need to glue the cover on. I'm just going to use some of my red score tape to do that because this is nice and strong and it will be clean um, and easy as well. So I'm just going to apply a small amount to the top like, like this. Let's just trim that um, away. Burnish that down to make it easier to get that backing um, off. And then I can carefully, carefully, carefully line, line that up. There we go. And we've got a cute little notebook that can go in the pocket um, here like this. I love that. That looks really, really sweet. I've just got two more really quick um, ideas for you. Well, it's the same, but with two different um, materials. I've picked out two of the toadstools here that are the same from this box here. They don't have to be the same. That's just what um, I've decided to, to do. So I've got two of these and I'm also going to use two of these as well. Um, which one shall I use? I'm just going to use the first two. It really doesn't matter. Be random about it. All of the designs in this little book are just adorably cute. So tear those two um, out. What I am going to do, though, um, is um, cut the numbers off on this one here and cut the sentiment um, off on this one here as well. I've cut my mushrooms down. I'm going to keep these because I think those are really cute and will look nice in collage. Um, I'm not too sure what to do with this. It's obviously um, a really bad translation. Only when good is the best um, respect. It's been translated from something and it isn't quite right. Um, but maybe I'll save them because the word respect perhaps I can use um, in something else. So we'll pop those to one side for the time being. Now, what I want to do is glue these down to this piece of paper here. I'm going to make myself some paper clips. Um, I've wanted to try this for ages and I saw Wendy Mason do a fantastic tutorial a couple of weeks ago. So I'm stealing um, her idea. I'll leave the link to Wendy's channel in the description box below. So you can see that I've turned these toadstools like this. And what I want to do now um, is glue them onto this piece of paper to make them um, one piece that I can fold over. I'm going to do the same with these as well. So back to back like that twist it like that and I'm going to uh, glue these down here like this as well and as soon as I've done that I'll be back. So I've glued my toadstool images down um, and all I'm going to do now is just um, really carefully cut um, around the edges. I'll just trim these slightly to make, um, make it easier and then just um, trim around the edges until that's nice and neat and then I'm going to ink them up with some espresso um, truffle is what I've got so far and you can see that if I fold the mushrooms over they're both um, the right way up which was um, what I was aiming for obviously. So now I just want to turn these into some concealed um, paper clips. I've got um, a piece of craft paper here. This is the lightweight paper. I've also got um, a couple of plastic um, paper clips here as well. Um, the fact that they're purple doesn't matter. You are not going to um, see these. So I'm just going to pop these over the craft cardstock here and then I'm going to um, glue 
my mushrooms um, on top. Now you can see that um, there is a gap at the top here. That's fine. Um, it's just because the paper clips are so thick. If you can find some thinner paper clips, then you know that's absolutely um, great. Um, but I'm just going to glue these over the top, trying to centralise them. Um, so that it's even like this and I shall use a mixture of glue stick and three in one to do that. Here we are, let me just show you how I'm going to glue these down. I've got glue stick um, right up to the edges and some three in one and I'm just going to stick this in the centre like that, just making sure that, you know, I focus on getting it centralised as best as I can and stick that down. Let's do this one first and I'm just going to use a bone folder just to make sure that um, I've got that glued, um, rubbing over with my finger. Here we go. And again, quickly before the glue um, dries, we'll do exactly um, the same with this one, this one here. So just centralising it like this and a bit further over wrapping it um, over the top of if we've got um, any glue on the um, outside that's fine we can rub that away in a second this is what my paper clips um, look like if you've got um, any stubborn glue on especially your white um, sheets where it's more noticeable use an eraser it just um, wipes it um, straight off so that's what I'm left with now and all I'm going to do is just cut around the edges and then of course you won't see um, where we've got that slight um, lip it just completely makes it disappear I'm going to leave it here with my little folder. I just love these little um, paper clips here. Now you can see I've had to make um, another one. I couldn't understand for the life of me why um, my mushrooms wouldn't stick down. And of course it dawned on me that these are actually stickers. So all I was doing was gluing the backing down. Let me just show you um, one. Let's grab um, one of these and see if we can um, get it to peel up. They peel up really easily. So of course all I was doing was gluing this backing paper down I had no idea that um, that these were, were stickers um, so be warned um, if you've got some um, of these and want to make a similar type of thing that one of course will have to um, go in the bin so I'm just going to clip that down there like that um, these ones aren't stickers so I had no problem with this one whatsoever I love that it's so colorful the colors are just absolutely gorgeous so again I'm just clipping that one over there and then the only other thing I decided to do was make um, a little um, ephemera holder and I've just put um, a few um, mushroom and toadstool um, autumnal type things inside so I've got one of the tags um, one of the little um, pieces of paper out of the book where's that gone here we go so I've taken one of these out of that book there. I've also got um, a couple of vellum sheets from another toadstool themed book that I had out of um, my own stash, which um, goes really well. And some other autumnal things, a little faux postage stamp and some other stickers. Um, and all I've done to make this pocket here is sew two pieces of the vellum paper together. Bear with me. So I've taken two pieces of the faux vellum and I've just stitched around the edges. So I've stitched all along here, along the bottom and up the side. So that's what um, I've got there. And it's created a really lovely little pocket um, for me to slip these little goodies inside. So I think that's um, a really nice little thing to add if you're sending something um, away in, in Happy Mail. So there we go. That's um, that's what that looks like. And it looks really cute. Just tucked um, into the pocket here like that. Doesn't that look sweet? And if you're wondering what on earth do you do with something um, like this that um, that we've made, um, isn't that just gorgeous? You can either send this off in Happy Mail and somebody would just be able to um, slot this straight um, into a journal. Um, so here's my usual scraps journal. Um, I could add this 
to that signature there. These pages are not sewn in yet, um, but that would just make a really lovely central um, insert to my journal. Um, the colours match absolutely beautifully with them um, with this page um, here. I just really like um, how that looks. Um, so here we go. These are the signatures in this journal that um, that I've got so far. It's nearly finished um, now, um, and there are quite a few pages in here that um, I've made. This one here, um, for instance, with um, the Your Creative Studio boxes. Before I call it a day, I just want to do one last thing. I want to try out this um, stamp here, um, itching to give this a go. I've got some of the um, Memento Ink and Espresso Truffle. Let me just make sure I get it um, the right way round. And I've just set it to the 1st of October 2020 because um, the kit is the October 2020 kit. And where do I want that to go? I think I want it um, on this side here. So I'm just going to stamp towards the top, go for it. Oh, whoops, that was close. I love how that looks. I'm so excited to um, have one of these. That is just absolutely brilliant. <laughs> you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas as to how you can use the contents of these beautiful boxes. Um, just to recap, Your Creative Studio is a monthly subscription box um, and each month they send out similar items to these, um, usually with a theme, all absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll leave a link to my playlist in the description box below as well. So if you want to have a look at any of the other um, boxes that um, I've opened, then you know, you'll find the link as I say in the description box below. Um, you will probably not be able to get hold of this particular box because these are really popular and sell out quite a way in advance but this just gives you um, an indication as to the types of things that are included. Now I received a message from somebody in my last um, um, boxing video um, saying that you could get most of these items on AliExpress and I just want to touch on that. You can, majority of these items you will probably um, find on AliExpress um, but I took the time last month to cost out all of the items that were included and it actually came out much more expensive for me to buy them individually than actually buying the subscription box so that's just something to to bear in mind. Of course, if you're buying small items individually via Ali, you're paying um, individual postage on each item. So I really do think that these boxes do offer great value for, for money. Of course, if there's only the one or two items that you're interested um, in having in your stash, um, then it's worth buying them individually. But if you just like the surprise of having um, a box of coordinated and exceptionally well curated goodies put together for you, then, you know, I think this is definitely worth giving um, a try. So if you've enjoyed my unboxing video today, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.